the celeb stoner story leap blast drug policy article let's discuss this um, President Obama and his administration apparently is uh, given hints just as exactly as I predicted that he would be playing for our vote uh, with this close election he uh, his administration talking to this GQ reporter made it seem like that Obama would legalize marijuana after after he was reelected um, the question I have for everybody number one do you trust that Obama would do it uh, would you change your vote would you vote for him over this I want to hear from people um, you know where I stand right now obviously I'm not going to be voting for Barack Obama for many reasons and uh, I, you know, I just I'm not going to trust them on it, but uh, very interesting debate and subject, and we'll be discussing this on Unregular Radio on Saturday. You can call in live. It's 3:30 p.m. Unregularradio.com, and we're going to have a state rep, Maine state rep, Diane Russell, who is a Democrat, who has been working with the Obama administration. Uh, she's someone that I work with, so you know, realize that even though I, I'm supporting Gary Johnson at this point. And uh, still, Ron Paul for the Republican, if that you know could possibly happen at this convention. I'm supporting the issues more than anything else. I am willing to work with Democrats. I am willing to work with Republicans. I'm willing to work with independents and libertarians and people who don't vote. And uh, definitely working with Diane Russell. So we'll be discussing this on Saturday on regular radio. Um, I, I want to hear what people think. Uh, Obama, you know, uh, Leap also weighed in on this law enforcement against prohibition. Uh, they basically said in the Celeb Stoner piece, getting back to that, Leap Blast CQ drug policy article, uh, there was a rebuttal by Leap, and it says uh, marijuana arrests account for half of the drug arrests in the U.S. every year. And these unnecessary law enforcement encounters leave for far too many people with criminal records. This uh, GQ article, the writer, he basically, for GQ, made it sound like Obama would legalize marijuana in the second term. And that's the way he, he would, and, and maybe not even legalize it, but at least bring it up as a subject and talk about it and use the bully pulpit, which would be, would, would be kind of, you know, cool to see. But at the same time, do we trust that it'll actually do this, number one? And uh, number two, it, it, is it enough? No, it's not enough. He, I mean, legalization should happen now. He should reschedule immediately. He has the power to do that before the election. You want votes. That's the only way you're going to get the votes. You have to do it now while you have the power. Reschedule. Second term. Lame duck. I'm not buying it. Do it now. Just like you did with the immigration. Just like you've you know said things for gay rights. Start speaking about marijuana legalization right now, President Obama. Um, and, and the thing that Leap weighed in on, which I 100% agree on, is that, you know, marijuana legalized in pot is just the least of it. It's only one part of it. We want complete drug reform. Um, and, and, and Leap had a statement, and the statement basically says this is about jobs, education. You know, we're talking about jobs for young people. We're talking about record high unemployment for young people. And if you go and ask the 25% or so people who are unemployed, who are younger, what you're going to find is that a good portion of them, I don't know if it's 10, 20, 30%, but a lot of those people could get better jobs and good jobs and jobs for the first time while they're unemployed right now if we had reformed the drug laws. They were busted for things like marijuana. You can't get a security job in Massachusetts if you had ever been arrested even for possession of marijuana. Um, that's just the way it is. They, they, they won't hire you. And, and if you're caught with LSD or cocaine or any of these other illegal drugs, the same thing exists. And uh, we need to reform drug law completely because it's in this economy, it's stopping people who are good people, candidates for jobs, who have, uh, who you know, a lot of times have grown up, and and they can't get jobs because of a of a simple possession from 10, 15 years ago, and that's the truth. You know, the law says one thing, but in practice, the employers don't follow the law, and no one's doing anything about it. The Attorney General of Massachusetts and the Attorney General of this United States, they have their hands full for the budget that they have, and the truth of it is, these employers do whatever they want. They can look up on illegal databases and find out if you were arrested 15 years ago. That that is a fact and that does happen and they don't disclose it and there's nothing you can ever do about it so we need to reform the drug laws number one 
Uh, and, and, and it starts with marijuana. You can, President Obama, come out for marijuana. Do it right now. You know, we don't, the, the goal in the second term has to be complete reform of all drug law. Start with marijuana right now. Reschedule marijuana now. And that's where I'm at. And that's what I'm going to be discussing with Diane Russell because I think that uh, she wants to try to work with them as much as possible and try to get them to move the Obama administration. But uh, I just, I want to see it now. So I want to hear what you people think. Do you, you know, as I said, would you vote for him based on this? Um, what will it take you to vote for, for Obama right now? Would it take marijuana legalization now? Would you wait till later? Are you supporting him? What do you think? Do you not trust him? I know a lot of people don't trust him. Uh, you know, can't blame him. I've been there. 2008, I called it. I called exactly what was going to happen. And I'm calling it again. This is an issue right now that is in play, and that's why we're talking about it.